Hello, super quick intro. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can disassemble and then reassemble the Hanayama spiral puzzle. Now there's only one way to disassemble the puzzle, but there are in a sense two ways to reassemble it. One is you remember where each piece goes and then put it back together. You just reverse what you did to disassemble it. And the other way is when you have lost which, which piece goes where and you have to figure out the correct order. And to do that, you do need a little bit of information which we'll cover at the start. So if you're just here to reassemble the puzzle, don't skip through the first minute, two minutes, because there is key bits of information that you need to get the right order to reassemble the puzzle. So let's get straight on with it. Okay, so here is the spiral puzzle. Now before we get into reassembling it, I'm just going to show you around the puzzle slightly or something that's important to then reassembling the puzzle. So first of all, if we put the spiral in this position, we want the piece with the Hanayama engraving on top of the spiral. And then we're just gonna look around at a few things. So what you'll notice as we go around is this level at which this puzzle sort of drops down on this bit here is just about halfway. So that one's just slightly lower than halfway. You'll notice that this one is pretty much bang on halfway or halfway down this puzzle. Same thing with here, we're slightly lower than halfway here and we're about bang on halfway here. Now what you'll also notice is if we put the Hanayama piece not on the top, you'll notice that this piece here comes nowhere on, about a third of the way down, so we're not quite at halfway. And that is important in the solution to the puzzle, but more important in how we reassemble the puzzle, which will make more sense shortly. So to disassemble the puzzle, what we need to do is we're going to create the spiral here with the Hanayama piece on top. And we're going to show you this from the side and then from a bird's eye view as well. So what we want to do is we want to split these five pieces into a section of three and a section of two. So the Hanayama piece is going to sit on top of the section of two. And what we're going to do with this piece here is slide it up, still maintaining its spiral position. And then when it's in this position, you'll notice that these two pieces here have a lot more movement. And what that allows us to do is twist that puzzle off or these two pieces off and separate the puzzle from there. I'll show you that again from a bird's eye view. So again, we get the spiral position with the Hanayama piece on top. We then lift these three pieces up in their spiral position. And then we just, we can, there's a lot more movement here. And all we do is twist and slide the pieces off. And then from here, all we do is separate each individual piece. Now the easy way to reassemble these is simply to remember the order at which you took them apart, put them back together, and, uh, and essentially just reverse the position, the move that you did first time around to take it apart. So again, we hold these two pieces, Hanayama bit on top in its spiral position, we hold these three pieces in its spiral position and we just simply twist those pieces on and we've reassembled it from there. However, there is a chance that you do not remember the order at which you took it apart and in which case it's not, it is not a random order. It has to be these exact pieces in this order. So as an example, what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix these up And we're gonna use a trial and error method that works every single time to get the right order. Now we're gonna start with the Hanayama piece. Now, what we looked at at the start was how far each piece dropped down on the piece to its left. Now that is important that we remember that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the Hanayama piece and we're gonna first fit together the bit that goes to it, well in this position to its right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through each piece and identify whether it is the right piece. Now this, these two pieces are the ones that came a third down. So it, it should, if we get the right piece, it should leave or go down to about this depth on the Hanayama piece. So here it goes to about halfway, so we know for definite that that's not the right piece. So we'll try the next one. That one barely gets on, so we know that that one's definitely not the right piece either. Next one, that looks to be the right piece, so that's a, a maybe. And we'll just double check by making sure this one doesn't even fit on. 
So we know for definite that these two pieces are in the right order now. However, this piece, the Hanayama piece is made up of the two and this piece is made up of the three so they're not actually going to be together just yet. But now we're going to start, we've got the bottom of the section of three, we're now going to build up and around using that same method. We're going to try each piece and we know from the start that these pieces should drop to about halfway like it does here. So it's likely that this is the right piece but we're just going to make sure by checking these other ones. So this one comes way too far, far down and this one barely gets on it. So. We now have two of the three pieces together. We're just going to rotate round and we're going to do a trial and error method for these last two pieces to see which bit is the right piece. Now it's more than likely this piece because again it comes down to about halfway. But we'll just double check and this one comes way too far down. So we now know for a fact that these three are the three that we want in that section. And just to make sure these two pieces come to about halfway so now we know for a fact that they're all in exactly the right order that we need and it's important that you do it in that order first so first of all well we'll put it back together first so we, again it's that twisting movement on but it's important that when you're putting it back together or figuring out which piece goes where that you do these two pieces first and then work your way around clockwise from there there are a few variations where it seems like it's right but that final twist movement won't happen. So it's important that you get the Hanayama piece and the bits to its right and then work your way clockwise around from there. And that is how you reassemble the spiral puzzle. So there it is, it is as simple as that to disassemble and then reassemble the spiral puzzle. I hope that helped you out in some fashion. If you did have trouble doing either part of the puzzle and if you are a regular around here you will notice that there is a different layout to the order of puzzles that we've done before so uh, mainly because we've run out of room to have it in the order that we did before it's still in the same difficulty order so we've got the easiest here working our way up and then working our way up to the hardest, the hourglass puzzle here. No doubt I'll have to reshuffle things about when everything becomes full in this new layout as well but there we go. And as always, if you want to see more solutions like this one, or you want to see me struggle through solving these puzzles for the first time, then click my face here to subscribe, or you can go straight to some of those videos by clicking over there. And I will see you next time. Peace!